Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics. Welcome back. And today's video has been a long-awaited video. Uh, I've actually procrastinated on this one. I'm sorry. I can't remember who requested it, but you know who you are. And hopefully this will help a few people. Uh, and it might have been a request that I had once or twice. Actually, more than, more than just once, I believe. But uh, at any rate, this is a video on how to put a mask on a superhero or draw a superhero mask. Uh, so I'll go through a couple of the techniques for that. Uh, and this character is uh, just somebody I made up. Uh, he's a character that I, I developed that I'm, I'm going to call uh, Super Super Guy. It'll probably be his name. And uh, he comes from another world, and our our son gives him uh, a bunch of powers and uh, bullets bounce off him. Yeah, I don't really know much other than that. It's just kind of an idea I've been working on, but I'll call him Super Dude for now, and then we'll uh, we'll just see. You know, maybe maybe people will like him. Maybe he'll become popular. Who knows? Okay, yeah, it's not what you're thinking, anyways. All right, so I got another layer over here. Actually, I think I created two. And uh, what I'm going to do is just sketch over top of our super guy here and give him a mask, you know, because he's, he's got a family and he needs to hide his identity to protect them. And what better way to do that than a mask that really wouldn't hide much of anything. So you get some of these masks where they're real basic and we'll start with that, you know, just like kind of a, uh, you know, you got goggles, you got masks, you got... Uh, Bandanas, like you know, all, all kinds of little things you could throw in there. You got the eye openings. We'll say just some basic oval shapes, like that. And you know, depending on how techy you want this to look, it can not have a strap. I guess you know, if it had a strap, maybe the strap would go through here. But then it looks almost more. Uh, basic or something like if it's if it's really high tech then maybe it doesn't even need a strap it just kind of floats there magically on his face so that would be one way to do it you know a very basic kind of rudimentary mask shape like that and then another way let's go over to this guy over here and then we'll refine him a bit uh, another way would be more coverage and smaller eye openings I particularly I like the ones that where they draw the eye opening but for whatever reason it somehow uh, blocks their eye you know it's like to me if the superhero mask didn't do that then you know you're really gonna be able to spot this dude so let's try one where it covers the nose you know at least more of the face I guess this would be reminiscent or uh, similar to like uh, you know Batman's mask or something how it comes down it blocks the nose now one of the one of the things that I think makes the differences for the uh, the masks themselves is whether or not it might have some kind of material to go around the features of the face. And again, that I thought of that because I'm thinking of the character Batman, and obviously his mask is more like this. It's like a it's like a series of hard plastic shapes or something, you know. So you actually would draw in some of those angular effects that it takes on to trim around the face. So that's another way to do a mask. So let's just get the shape in there first and then we'll figure out if we're going to do that. Now obviously I got his hair kind of out there flowing around so I'll have to uh, draw something that covers that. Uh, and then the other question is, is there an ear opening or is that covered? I would say covered. I mean, again, it just depends on how this character is designed. Is this a protection type helmet, you know, more than just a mask? Um, you know, so to me, if it's going to conceal their identity, it would need to go over their, their head. Cause if not, they'd be like, oh, that's so-and-so look at his flowing hair. I know that guy. I know that hairdo, you know, so, which I know some of them, they have masks and they, they was, uh, somehow hide their identity. Isn't like Green Lantern like that or something, I believe. It's pretty bad. I don't know that. What kind of nerd am I? I don't even know these things. Okay, so let's do this, and I'll I'll end up covering the air with this one. So this one I'll refine and make it I'll make it a little bit more angular as far as the the way that it goes around the face. So it's more of a solid material, I guess, and it'll cover a lot more of the character by the time we're done with that one. Okay, so now that gives us two basic concepts to 
apply to our super dude here and then we can see uh you know how these effects look more rendered so uh, i'll go ahead and time lapse this next part where i render these out and see what we come up with All right, so there you have it. There's a couple different uh, mask styles, and hopefully that showed you a way or two that you could possibly try to draw one in yourself. Uh, if you notice, I even chopped the head and brought it down a little bit. Um, so it kind of showed me, too, that, you know, we tend to want to draw the characters with a little bit shorter domes when they're in the uh, the mask, because had I drawn it over the uh, cranium the way it was, it would have been a bit taller. So... Uh, which I think it actually looked a little bit more realistic, but kind of silly. So, um, but that's where in comic book drawing, we have to try to make things look a little bit more aerodynamic or sleek or whatever, you know. So hopefully this has showed you something. If it has and you liked the video, be sure to like, share, subscribe. It helps me progress the channel. And uh, let me know in the comments section below what you like, what you don't, what you'd like to see in the future. I'm always trying to read through them. I can't answer back everyone, but I do my best to read through all of them. So... Thanks very much for your support of the channel. Keep drawing, keep having fun, and I will talk to you soon.